Greetings to all of you from here at St. Francis. Thank you for joining us here on this uh, online Mass on this Wednesday of the week of Holy Week. So let us begin in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us now acknowledge our sins so as to prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. We are sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. He came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who willed your Son to submit for our sake to the yoke of the cross, so that you might drive from us the power of the enemy, grant us, your servants, to attain the grace of, re of the resurrection through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. The Lord has given me a well-trained tongue, that I, might not, that I might know how to speak to the weary, a word that will rouse them. Morning after morning he opens my ear, that I may hear. And I have not rebelled, have not turned back. I gave my back to those who beat me, my cheeks to those who plucked my beard. My face I did not shield from buffets and spitting. The Lord God is my help, therefore I am not disgraced. I have set my face like flint, knowing that I shall not be put to shame. He is near who upholds my right. If anyone wishes to oppose me, let us appear together. Who disputes my right, let him confront me. See, the Lord God is my help. Who will prove me wrong? The word of the Lord. The responsorial psalm is, Lord, in your great love, answer me. Lord, in your great love, answer me. For your sake, I shall bear insult, and shame covers my face. I have become an outcast to my brothers, a stranger to my mother's sons, because zeal for your house consumes me, and the insults of those who blaspheme, you fall upon me. Lord, in your great love, answer me. Insult has broken my heart, and I am weak. I looked for sympathy, but there was none. For consolers, not one could I find. Rather, they put gall in my food, and in my thirst, they gave me vinegar to drink. Lord, in your great love, answer me. I will praise the name of God in song, and I will glorify him with thanksgiving. See, you lowly ones, and be glad. You who seek God, may your hearts revive. For the Lord hears the poor, and his own who are in bonds he spurns not. Lord, in your great love, answer me. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. One of the twelve who was called Judas Iscariot went to the chief priest and said, What are you willing to give me if I hand him over to you? They paid him thirty silvers, thirty pieces of silver, and from that time on he looked for an opportunity to hand him over. On the first day of the Feast of Unleavened Bread, the disciples approached Jesus and said, Where do you want us to prepare for you to eat the Passover? He said, Go into the city to a certain man and tell him, The teacher says, My appointed time draws near, 
In your house I shall celebrate the Passover with my disciples. The disciples then did as Jesus had ordered and prepared the Passover. When it was evening, he reclined at table with the twelve, and while they were eating, he said, Amen, I say to you, one of you will betray me. Deeply distressed at this, they began to say to him, one after another, Surely it is not I, Lord. He said in reply, He who has dipped his hand into the dish with me is the one who will betray me. The Son of Man indeed goes as it is written of him, but woe to that man by whom the Son of Man is betrayed. It would, have, would be better for that man if he had never been born. Then Judas, his betrayer, said in reply, Surely it is not I, Rabbi. He answered, You have said so. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise the Lord. And now we're coming close, very close to the very climax of our season. It's just the day right before the Triduum. And we see the, the scriptures continue to foreshadow and point and groan towards the passion of our Lord and his crucifixion. I think it's a good time before we enter into that Triduum, a celebration of Christ's passion, and his death, and his, his resurrection to reflect up, uh, uh, upon our, our past Lent. How have we made use of our time? How have we walked with our Lord? How have we drawn close to Him? How have we drawn close to each other? And in particular, as we enter into Holy Thursday tomorrow and celebrate the, the, the Feast of the, the Last Supper and the institution of the Eucharist, we think about this time when we're unable to receive the Eucharist and we look at the readings for today and, and how Judas critted his time with Jesus at the, the, the Lord's table. How have we taken for granted our time with our Lord Jesus at the table? How have we taken for granted God's presence in the Eucharist? And we can just take this opportunity to uh, really look back at how we can truly yearn and appreciate for Christ's presence and really take advantage of that time when we are able to come together and truly receive Christ in the, in the Eucharist and use Judas as an example of what not to do. You know, there are times, how many times have we you know, acted kind of two-faced like Judas? On our own time, we might do things we're not proud of and give in to our greed and give in to our sins and then come to our Lord at, at church and Mass and take for granted the, the gift of the Eucharist and just pretend that everything is okay. God invites us to truly come forward, not as perfect people, but as genuine friends at the Lord's table. So let us reflect upon that gift of the Eucharist, the gift of Christ's sacrifice that we receive in that Eucharist as we enter into this triduum. Let us now come before our Heavenly Father with faith and confidence and offer our prayers and petitions. We pray for all our church leaders throughout the world, for Pope Francis, our Archbishop and Cardinal Blaise Supich, for all our bishops, priests, and deacons. May they continue to shepherd the flock. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for our president and for all national leaders and, and local leaders that they may continue to find ways to protect their people. We pray to the Lord. We pray for our local community of St. Francis of Assisi, that we may continue to be united through the prayer of the Eucharist and the prayer of the Church. We pray to the Lord. We pray for all those who are affected by the, the coronavirus, uh, for those who might be fighting the illness itself uh, uh, through its contraction, or those who are treating it, or are May we pray for their safety and their recovery. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. We pray for all those who have passed away. May they rest in eternal peace. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. For all the, the prayers and petitions we hold in, in our hearts, in the silence of our hearts. 
we pray to the Lord. Lord. And we pray, O oh Lord, that we may prepare our hearts as we enter into this Easter Triduum, and we continue to grow an appreciation for your true sacrifice, so that we may look forward to rising with you. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, and will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the one we offer you, fruit of, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, who will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Receive, O Lord, we pray, the offerings we may hear and graciously grant, that celebrating your Son's passion and mystery, we may experience the grace of its effects. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for through bodily fasting you restrain our faults, raise up our minds, and bestow both virtue and its rewards. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Through him the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore, and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven, and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more, giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is a chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, when we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and a chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, you may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Blaise our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. 
and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace on our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter on the mind, and only say the word that my soul shall be. Let us pray. Receive, O Lord, we pray, the offerings made here. <clears throat> Endow us, Almighty God, with a firm conviction that through your Son's death and time, to which the revered mysteries bear witness, we may be assured of perpetual life. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. The Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God.